another stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and this is Charlie. And if you are new to my channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. So today's video, I want to tell y'all about my new fur babies, Charlie, which is right here, and Ollie, which Ollie is really, really shy, so it's probably going to be a while before I can get him to be in one of my videos. Um, so we adopted them, not the Friday that just passed, but the Friday before. And both kitties are brothers. They're five months old. Charlie's the Mr. Lovable. He is such a sweetheart. He always comes around, rubs on my legs. He purrs. He loves to purr. He's pretty much always purring. And like right now, he's kind of, he's making biscuits some on my arms. <laughs> But he is a total sweetheart. He'll follow me. Like, I go to the bathroom. He follows me to the bathroom. Um, and he's always getting underfoot because he's usually, like, like right in front of me or following me around, around the house. And then Ollie. Uh, well, both boys are really shy. But Charlie came out of his, his shell quickly. Um, the shelter had them in foster homes to help socialize them better. But um, Ollie is extremely shy. He's very dependent on Charlie. And these two cats are like this. They are so close. And it's so sweet watching them together. Um, but like I said, Ollie is very, very skittish. I've only re really been able to, like, pe really pet him twice. Now, this morning, he kind of let me pet him a couple of couple little rubs, but he usually will take off if you, if you approach him too close. He'll come by you, but he'll leave, like, a foot or two distance. <laughs> I'm working on him, um... But he, he is very playful. He is hyper. It's so funny watching him play. And, like, he'll, he will play with me. I take the little toy with the stick and go like that with it. And he, he will play. He just won't come to me. And he don't let me pet him much. Which, hopefully... He'll warm up to me soon. But I know the lady that was fostering them said that he was just starting to come to her. And even, even Charlie here was really shy. Because when I first brought them home, they were hiding. And I, I, it started off, I slowly got Charlie to come out and, and he would play a little, but he was very skittish. But I want him over. <laughs> um, playing with them and the cat treats, they love cat treats. They go apes over cat treats. And sometimes Ollie will eat treats out of my hand, or if I have the lickables, he'll come, you know, he'll come up like that but Charlie here tries to take his brother treats and sometimes I feel bad because I'm trying to give Ollie treats and, and Charlie's all over the treats sometimes I have to trick Charlie so I can get the, trick, the treats to Ollie um, but they're both very sweet cats and I do believe in time Ollie will come around and will be a lovable cat. It's just going to take him time. And the shelter wanted them adopted together, because, especially because of how shy um, Ollie was. 
and they were they were all excited when we decided to get both of them because at first you know i wanted i wanted charlie that was the one that piqued my interest and and it was kind of funny because frank was talking to them on the phone and whenever they mentioned that, I really, I, I did not, I was shocked that Frank agreed to it. Because I was the one that was a little more reserved about two cats. And that was mostly because how Allie was with Sophie. But these two are brothers and, they're, and like I said, they're really, really close. Truly sleeping in my arms. He's so sweet. Um, but Frank agreed to it because I thought he'd be like, no, you know, one cat, one cat. And I'm the one that like wants to take in every cat <laughs> that I see. Um, but they have brightened my day since I've gotten them. And really initially there was, they had this cat at the shelter named Big Papa. And I'm going to let y'all see a picture of him. Big Papa, like, he captured my heart. But the timing was wrong when they had him up for adoption. But whenever I read the description about Big Papa, it so reminded me of Buddy. He had an old soul and... And it was like, I really, I really wanted that cat. But he got adopted. And actually, Big Papa is living in Oregon. Um, I don't know how that came to be. I don't know if they moved there or they were originally living there. But he's in, in Oregon and he has a nice loving home. And like I said, and then I saw Charlie... And we ended up with Charlie and Ollie. And they're both they're both solid black. The main way you can tell the difference, Charlie's fluffier. And and normally it's Charlie's tail where I can really tell the difference. And Ollie's a little smaller. He looks more petite. And you can definitely tell by the personality. <laughs> Because Ollie's really, really skittish. And Charlie will just come rub up on you. <laughs> He's such a sweet baby. But we, ha we had an adventure going to the shelter. And the thing, the thing is, Frank used to be a truck driver. And he had a, you know, one of those older GPS systems. And he would keep it in the core. Well, it ended up getting stolen out of the core. And the thief, they took the GPS, but not the charger, which was right there. So they have no use for it because they can't charge it unless they go out and, and purchase a charger. <laughs> but at that time, we had no use. You know, we didn't go anywhere where we needed the GPS. And then our car was sitting for a while because the battery went out. And this was the first time we needed the GPS. And I thought Frank basically knew where he was going. And, and he turned the wrong way on the service road. And then the road ended and it took us down this like, really like lots of trees narrow road like the ditch was like right there on the side I'd hate to see someone having an accident on that road because they would probably go in the ditch and and it was like I, I mean we were probably lost for about an hour and it was a good thing we left we left really early I was worried about how early we had left, but we finally found the place. And I, I have some pictures for y'all on for the from the trip um, going. Um, the first picture I'm going to show 
is actually in Opelousas. I had passed by the Hobby Lobby. They just recently opened a Hobby Lobby. And I was like, I got to take a picture. <laughs> I was all excited. And I noticed Ollie's is in the same parking lot. And I've never been to Ollie's yet. So that's a trip we're going to be planning to go on soon. And then the other pictures is on that, that, that road with all the trees where we got lost. And then when we got to the shelter, I was really hoping that I would have gotten to spend time with the other animals and stuff. But she had told me that the dog port would probably already be closed down for the day. And then with the cats, uh oh, he's stirring. Let me put him down. With the cats, I was able to go in one of the rooms. And oh, these these little kitty kittens, oh, they were so friendly. One of them especially. I mean, he was just like, take me home with you. And I so easily could have. But for, I know Frank would have been like, no. <laughs> and three cats would have been too much. But uh, very lovable. And I think they will get adopted easily. Then there was a mama cat in another room with babies. So I couldn't go in there at the time. They were nursing. Um... And then the other rooms were locked, so I didn't know if I could go in there in them or not. So I didn't go in them, but, you know, I was kind of looking through the window and trying to interact with them. And then Charlie and Ollie needed their rabies shot and their flea medicine. So when they, the, the shelter was giving that to them... I was kind of in the hallway looking through the wind, you know, the windows and doors and those little kittens that were nursing weren't nursing anymore. And they were trying to play with me through the window. I was like doing that with my hand and they were pawing at the glass. It was so cute. Um, which hopefully all those, those, those little kitties find them a good home. Oh, and there was also this one cat. And this would have been my next pick for a cat. There was a cat called Quick Carlton. It was a male, and he was 17 pounds. He was huge. Um, and I got to see him. But I think he had just gotten adopted, if I recall right. But I could have spent the whole day playing with the animals there. I, I just, I love animals, but, um, but it's been such a blessing with these two boys. Um, I, I love watching them. They're so funny when they play. And I was a little worried because I went and purchased things for them, like cat, cat tower tunnels. And I'm like, are they going to use what I'm buying? And like, they seem to use everything. That they, they love the cat tunnel. Um, which I'm gonna show y'all y'all some pictures of the boys. Um, and y'all get to see Ollie in the pictures shortly. And then they love the tower. And Frank has it on one of those like plastic bin type things in front of the screen door. So it's like really high up and they love it. Um, they were, they enjoy it. And I have thought about putting the tower in my filming area. So hopefully they can be in the background of my videos, at least sometimes. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I know I watch Kendall Ray, which, which is a true crime channel. And she does that. Usually you see her cat in the background. And I always look forward to seeing the cat. <laughs> and sometimes, like some videos, you you see her dogs too. Um, I just, I love animals. 
uh, let's see what else am I? Oh, how can I forget this? I, Mr. Charlie had him an adventure. And oh, did he worry me and Frank. And I was scared that I lost another kitty. I got up Saturday morning. Couldn't find Charlie. But at the time I figured, oh, he's just chilling. But I thought it was kind of odd because normally in the morning he follows me to the bathroom. And that's when I put the wet food out, give them some treats. So I see them in the morning. But I didn't see him. And then throughout the day I couldn't find him. Never saw him. And, you know, by the end of the day, it's like, where is he? This, this seems to be out of character for him. And I didn't know if he was in some cubby hole that I, you know, I, I wasn't looking. You know, was he stuck? You know, did the worst thing happen? And, you know, here's little Ollie. I would catch him crying for his brother and couldn't find him. And we even wondered, could there be a possibility Charlie snuck outside? But we were like, the chances of that was very slim. And even the one that, that fostered them, because that was something I asked if, if they ever tried to sneak outside. And she was like, they're too skittish to try. So Sunday, you know, getting close to going to bed, still no sign of Charlie. I mean, I even would go outside calling for him, shaking the trees, going around the house. And the off chance he got outside. And at one point, I saw a black kitty under the house and I thought it was him at first. But he wouldn't come to me. And then I saw the tail and the tail wasn't fluffy so I knew it wasn't Charlie. And here here it was basically going, you know, 48 hours no Charlie. Then all right before bed Ollie comes in the living room and he starts meowing close to the window because we have like the window and then right next to it is the front door. And then me and Frank both thought we heard two separate meows. And that wasn't the first time that we thought that we heard a second cat. But we couldn't find, you know, every time we would look, we didn't find anything. So I go open the front door. Who do I see? Charlie. He got out. So, so, uh, you know, at first I'm opening the door and he's skittish. So I go grab his wet food and I open it and use the wet food to lure him back inside. And at first he kind of seemed skittish, but after about five, 10 minutes of being inside, he was all lovable again. Um, and he's, you know, he's safe now. It was, I was so happy to see him because I was thinking worst case scenario. And I was just like, I can't lose another kitty. I'm like, not this soon, not this soon. Um, so we're going to have to be careful with him with the door so that, that this doesn't happen again. And I really, I never would have thought he would have, you know, snuck out. And I think what happened was we had a Walmart delivery that was supposed to come. It was scheduled for between seven and nine. And then we got the notice it was delayed. 11 o'clock hits, no Walmart delivery. And even whenever I reached out to them, 
they had said that they weren't going to be able to deliver it that night, you know, to reschedule it for the morning. So I rescheduled it, but I did one last check outside just to make sure, you know, it wasn't delivered and we didn't realize it somehow, which I didn't think it was. And I think that's when he snuck out Friday night. And it was dark outside. He's a black cat. So I didn't notice, which is kind of odd because I'm the I'm usually really paranoid about, you know, my cats trying to sneak out where I watch for it. And it's like, you know, it, ha you know, it happened with me. Um, and I know like, when I had gone to the bathroom before I went to bed, he didn't follow me. And normally he kind of goes in and out of the bed and I don't recall it, but Frank thought he heard them playing around three in the morning, but he may have just been hearing Ollie, you know, but he's safe. That's the main thing. And we just, we're probably going to have to put him in the bathroom, like when we, you know, bringing stuff inside, like groceries, or we go to a store or something. Anytime the door is, like, open longer. But we still got to be careful, even with the, you know, short periods of time, because cats can be sneaky. But, anyway... I think that's, oh, I forgot to share with y'all those pictures of the boys. pictures of both Charlie and Ollie. Aren't they such cutie pies? They're so, so sweet. I love them to pieces already. Um, and before I wrap up this video, I need to give y'all the keyword for a chance to win extra entries into the fall into a giveaway. So the keyword for this video is sunflower. So type sunflower in the comments for a chance to win extra in entries. And on this video, I will be picking three people and each person will receive three extra entries into the giveaway. And I'll be picking these people at random. So again, the keyword is sunflower. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I hope y'all enjoyed hearing about my sweet Charlie and Ollie. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, if you like my videos, you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to be notified of my future videos, click on that bell. And it would help a lot if you could hit that like button. It helps with YouTube analytics. And also commenting on this video is something else that helps me too with YouTube. And it also allows me to get to know all my Yorny friends better. So I hope everyone is having a fabulous Yorny day. Be the light and always remember to be the best sparkly you that you can be. Be cool and be kind and ooh la la, ooh la la. Ooh la la, ooh la 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 la. <laughs> Bye everyone.